We now move on to the next deadlock avoidance algorithm for resource types with multiple instances. Uh, this algorithm is called banker's algorithm because I think this is used in banks to make sure that they never run out of uh, cash. That's what was said in the textbook. So, uh, since this is an avoidance algorithm, uh, the process must declare the maximum number of instances that it will need of a particular it will need uh, of a particular resource type. Okay? And uh, during the runtime of a process, if it requests for a resource but that no resource is uh, available, then that process will have to wait on that particular resource that it's trying to request. And once uh, a process will be able to uh, get all the resources it needs, right, it will use the resource and then it has to return uh, back the, res uh, the resource, release the resource uh, in a finite amount of time. So these are the prerequisites for the bunkers algorithm. Now in order to make this work we need to define our we need to we need to use additional uh, data structures so uh, we let n be the number of processes n and m be the number of resource types okay so n processes m resources then we define uh, a vector available so a vector is basically an array so it's a vector of length m. Again, m is uh, the number of resource types. If uh, available j equals k, given this notation, would mean that there are k instances of resource type rj that are available. So in essence, this available vector just indicates uh, how the remaining available resources for that particular uh, J resource type. Okay? So the next data structure is max, which is an M N by M matrix. N number of processes, M number of resources. So it's a matrix, so to the array, basically. So this notation, max i j equals k, means that process i may request at most, so maximum, at most k instances of resource type Rj. So that's what we mean by this max matrix. Uh, you'll see an example later. Then another matrix is allocation. This is an n by m matrix. And the notation allocation ij equals k means that uh, k resources, k instances of resource type J are allocated to process I. And then lastly, we have a need matrix, which is also an N by M matrix. The notation need IJ equals K means that uh, process I may need K more instances of resource type J to complete uh, its task. So again, uh, we have here three matrices, max, allocation, and need, and one uh, vector available as the primary data structures that we will be manipulating for uh, understanding or for implementing uh, the bankers algorithm. Uh, note here that the matrix need is basically just uh, max minus the allocation. Right? So the max contains the maximum or number of instances of a resource type that a process I will need. So 
basically you subtract max uh, you subtract allocation from max to get the need matrix so again avoidance you have to make sure that or the system must make sure that before granting the request before granting a process uh, the resources it needs it must make sure that the system is in a safe state it remains in a safe state okay so we ha we need to have the safety algorithm this means that again it will analyze the resource allocation state and determine whether the system is is in a safe state or in an unsafe state so here is how the safety algorithm works so basically it just tells uh, it just tells the system whether uh, let's say ah this process is requesting this set of resources if we grant these resources to this process will it leave the system in a safe state or in an unsafe state so this is what this module or sub module of, of the algorithm uh, does so how does, here's how it's work how it works so you let work again this is the uh, 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 let work and finish be vectors of length m and n respectively so work uh, m is the number of resource types n is the number of process finish so these are vectors so these are arrays single dimensional uh, one dimensional arrays and then you initialize work to be equal to available so okay so here you you set that vector work to available and then uh, you let the finish uh, you iterate over all the over all the elements of the finish vector and uh, you set them to uh, false basically so it's a boolean vector okay so initially finish meaning uh so again i here represents n is processes so finish so is process i finish process process is process zero finish process one finish etc and then the work vector is the uh, unallocated uh, resource type resources. Okay? So after this initialization, you need to find an i. So you have to find an index. Basically, an i is an index. So it's basically a process. So you have to find a process such that uh, the value of that process in, is not yet finished so it's false and the need of that process so you have here the need okay so need is a matrix but here it is subscripted so need i so for this particular you have to find an i such that the need of that particular process is less than or equal to the available uh the available instances of the resource types basically so this uh, less than or equal notation here is just a simplification meaning is basically all ele these are two vectors right? so all elements of this should be less than the elements of this uh, per index we'll have an example later how it's done if no such i exists Okay, so these two conditions must be satisfied so if no such i exists you go to step four and then if everything is uh, in this vector in the finished vector is set to true then the system is in a safe state okay so if you can find uh, an i that satisfies these two conditions then you try to allocate uh, try to allocate the uh, required uh, resources by the process okay? so you have here uh, allocation so 
you add the, so there there is an allocation uh, allocation uh, vector but here it is a matrix so it's basically saying what uh, how many resource types or resources are allocated to this particular process you add that to the work which is the available okay? and then uh, you set finish to true and then go back here so basically it just finds uh, it just detects whether uh, the current remaining resources will be able to satisfy the request of all the processes so basically this is what the system the safety algorithm does and if you arrive at uh, step four and everything in the finished vector is true then the system is in a safe state that's what we mean by this okay so this is a module that will be called later okay so we have a resource request algorithm uh, resource request algorithm for process pi so uh, this is uh, what will happen no? so a process i will request for uh, resources so this that request of, of the process i will be represented in this vector and if request i j equals k this means that process i wants k instances of resource type rj so basically it's just the request vector if the request i is less than or equal the need of i okay, you go to uh, step two basically it just make sure that the request is uh, lesser or less than the actual uh, claim uh, proclaimed or uh, initially stated by the requesting process so uh, you see here you have a ma need matrix so this must be uh, declared by the process early on now at some point in time process i will request for uh, set of resources it must be checked whether the request is within the uh, pre uh, pre stated need of the of that particular process i so if this is satisfied is that request vector less than the available so if it if it is less than the available you try to allocate the resources so you pretend to allocate the requested resources to p sub i by modifying the resource allocation state so available uh, will be uh, reduced because you subtract the request from the available so in a way this is just a simulation you first try will doing these things result to uh, a safe or an unsafe state of the system so uh it does this and if the system is in a safe state by running this safety algorithm then you allocate the request if unsafe if uh if after doing this simulation simulated allocation results to an unsafe state then uh that process p sub i who made the request must wait and the resource allocation state is restored so after perform uh, after performing this if this resulted to an unsafe state meaning this algorithm resulted to an unsafe state then uh, it will roll back the allocation okay so that is the resource request algorithm so essentially this is uh, the general algorithm for bankers so you have a module uh, safety algorithm and then you have the uh, resource request algorithm so to further illustrate the the algorithm uh, we have here an example so we have five processes p0 through p4 and three resource types resource a resource b and resource c and indicated in the parentheses uh, 
is the number of instances for that resource type. So, uh, for example, A has 10 instances, B has 5 instances, and C has 7 instances. Now, at time T sub 0, this is the resource allocation state. So, we have the matrix allocation, we have the matrix max, and we have the uh, matrix available. So, we have uh, uh, the vector available. Right? The vector available. So, we have the matrix allocation here. You have the matrix max, and we have the vector available. So this at uh, at time t sub zero, this is the state of the system. So as you can see here, uh, currently uh, process zero is allocated uh, one instance of resource uh, type B. Uh, process P three P sub three is allocated two instances of resource type. A. So, uh, you can observe here that, for example, uh, A. A has 10 instances. So, at this point in time, uh, the number of instances allocated for resource type A are 1, uh, 2, plus 3, plus 2. Right? So, 3, so this actually seven. So there are seven uh, instances of resource type A allocated to different processes. That's why we have the available instance for A is three. For uh, C, for example, for resource type C, uh, the currently allocated instances are two plus one plus two. So that will be five. So the available is two here because there are a maxim there is a maximum of seven instance uh, total of seven instances for resource type C. Okay, so again you check one plus one that will be two plus three five, which is the total number of instances for resource type B. So this is the snapshot of the system is at uh, a time uh, a time. Uh, T sub zero. Okay. You can run the safety algorithm here okay, to check if the system is in a safe state. Okay. So the content of the matrix need is defined to be max minus allocation. Okay. So uh, we need to have a need matrix here. Okay. And it's defined by max minus allocation. So, as you can see here, so need. So, uh, for example, let's consider, let's say, uh, process P4. Okay. So, uh, max minus allocation. So, for resource A, 4 minus 0, that will give you 4, uh, 3, minus 0 that will give you 3 and then for resource type C 3 minus 2 that will give you 1 so you perform that operation for the for the other processes you'll get this uh, need matrix and you can run the safety algorithm and when you run the safety algorithm, you'll be able to find this sequence of all the processes in the system that satisfy uh, that satisfies the safety criteria. So, meaning at time t zero, the system is in a safe state because we are able to find this sequence of uh, all the processes, and uh, this sequence will allow will satisfy uh, all the requests of the sequence of uh, processes for resources okay so currently the system is in a safe state now process p1 uh, requests uh, for this uh, uh, for these resources for this in number of instances of resources 
So this is the request vector. Okay? So going back, uh, we'll have, we have the request vector here. So this is the request vector, meaning a process one is requesting for one instance of resource type A, zero instance of resource type B, two instances of resource type C. So the algorithm, the resource request algorithm, first check, is the request less than need I? Okay, uh, so the request is 102, and then is it less than need I? So, uh, so you see here, uh, this check, okay? So, uh, we're looking at process P1. So, this is the uh, max 322. So, I think this is uh, this is wrong. So, it's 322 should be uh, 322. So, 322 is true. Okay, no problem. And then, after that, is the request less than or equal to available? So, this is the available, 332. So, we have 332, this is available. Is the request is less than the available, true. And then, what you do is, you try to simulate the allocation. Okay? You simulate the allocation, so you perform this operation, and this will result to uh, this resource allocation state. Okay, so P1 uh, originally, uh, so we look at uh, P1 here, so 200, zero, zero. so it should be updated, okay, so it should be 302, so should have 302, then you update everything and you check, you run the safety algorithm and you should be able to obtain a sequence of uh, processes that satisfies the safety requirement meaning that this request by p1 will be granted because the system is in a safe state so you can try uh, this algorithm for this uh, request request from other processes and determine whether uh, the system will be in a safe state or you will be able to obtain uh, this particular se uh, a specific sequence that satisfies the safety requirement. Okay? So that's essentially how the banker algorithm, banker's algorithm uh, works.